everyone, Mikey Abrams, Texas Pride Realty Group. This is my newest listing out here in University Place, 8217 Miss Canthus Court. It's a beautiful Beezer build home located on a cul-de-sac with a premium lot. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's take a look. So this open concept home, I love it. I love this home. So you've got quartz countertops here, very white, very clean, very modern, that gives this wonderful entertaining area for the living space, the dining space, and the kitchen, including a half bath off to the side so that guests could use that. For the chef of the family, you've got a double oven here. What? Plenty of storage space. And then you've got a five burner gas cooktop complete with griddle. I really like the modern touches that they did here with like this light gray chevron backsplash, kind of adds contemporary feel. All the stainless steel appliances will convey with this property. In addition to that, you got area for your coffee, coffee talk, so you can just sit around and talk. I personally would use this for, this is not the coffee bar, but you know, the vodka bar, which I think is far better suited for me. Um, the other thing that's awesome about this house is they've got a little mudroom area so that you can kick your dirty booty shoes right there and hang up your jackets and put some of your old winter storage stuff up at the top. Let's look outside. Outside you've got your small patio, but this is a premium lot. This is a 40 lot where the garage is in the back. However, look at the space that you can do here. You can put swimming pools, you can put uh, gazebos, you can put playground sets if you got them kids, or if you've got, you know, adult kids, that playground sets work good too. And I love that they've also plumbed it for gas out here. So if you do want to eventually add a gas grill, it'll be great for entertainment. I want you to take a look over there. Do you see that hop, skip, and jump? That's the dog park at University Place. And if you go over to the right, you'll see the community playground and the community pool that has the gym, that has the amenity center, it has an Olympic sized lap swimming pool. And what's fantastic, it's probably, oh God, not even a two minute walk right here from the house. How convenient is that, right? Let's go upstairs. You ready? Let's work our glutes. Here we go. Glute, squeeze, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, 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 squeeze in your glutes. Oh, what a refreshing workout. So up here you have this lifestyle space which I think is really cool. You can either use it as a privacy office, perhaps a play area for the kids, perhaps an additional TV area just to escape video game room, which I know is very popular now, or just an additional reading space. Secondary bathroom, dual sinks, Egyptian porcelain countertops. I love the modern white tiles that have been a continuation from downstairs. And your shower tub combo. Now all four bedrooms in this house are all upstairs, but I'm gonna show them to you. They all have natural light pouring in along with your plantation shutters. I love these because you can easily shut out the light or let the sun shine in. And it I, just the lights just pour in. Pour, pour, pour. Pour, like a delicious margarita. You also have, look at the size of that closet space. A complete walk-in closet space with additional storage on top. 
I do like this modern carpet that they have. A lot of people are like, ew, carpet. But if you think about it, to have carpet on the second floor, it prevents, you know, when you start tap dancing, uh, it prevents all the noise from downstairs. I'm super impressed with this next bedroom. This next bedroom is about 15 feet long. This would make a spectacular, you could do, if you got two kids, you could do bunk beds very easily in here. I personally would make this an upstairs additional den because this is enough room to put an entire sofa and an entire entertainment area here. It gives privacy. You'll also have additional storage. Ba -boom. And what I do like about it too, what the owners have selected, is they've made all of the hardware cohesive, giving us this nice, sleek, black, contemporary look. Bedroom number three, boop, right in there. Perfect for a little guest room space. Easily fit a queen in this room. And I'm sure you can also fit a queen size bed. <laughs> oh, I'm here all week. One of the features that I think is so important because I hate schlepping my damn laundry up and down the stairs is the laundry is where the bedrooms is at. So ain't nobody downstairs is gonna see your dirty laundry. I love the hexagonal tile that they have selected. And in addition to that, look, you can dry your clothes right here on this rack. <laughs> Check out my rack. Finally, here is the primary retreat. Primary retreat is very large. You can easily fit a king size uh, bed in here. I mean, this is a, I think this is a queen that they have right here, but they have a bountiful amount of space. And if you want to look out the window of exactly what this bedroom upstairs is facing, it is the backyard, dog park, and amenity center. So you could totally be the Gladys Kravitz of the neighborhood and snoop and see what going on at that amenity center and then you got all the dirt before it hits the neighborhood Facebook group and then finally you have your primary retreat the continuation of all that contemporary tile has been added in here as well look at all this space this is candle smell it smells like coconut and this is my favorite I'm super jealous of this they have two closets, two closets, dual closets. I would love that. Both of them are very large walk-in closets, complete with additional shelvings and shoe racks and all kinds of storage. So this is closet number one. So this could be like winter wardrobe and then your summer wardrobe can be right here. Closet number two. I think they're both around the same size. No, it's just that closet number one has some additional shelving. This one just has a lot more hanging space. Um, you do have linen closet. Plenty of space here. You have your private poo poo room or your water closet. And look, there's a window in there too, just so the sunlight can bless you while you're seated and thinking. And finally, the walk-in shower. And I love this. My mama always told me that it's always good to have a step in here because you might need to shave your legs. So you got your step in here so that you can, you know, have story time, you know, but talking outside the um, shower or, you know, shave whatever. So thanks for tuning in on this one, 8217 Miss Canthus. This one is listed at $715,000. I expect this one to go pretty quick here in the subdivision of University Place. Uh, the HOA here is $750 a year. Not bad considering all the amenities that you're gonna get. For more information, please reach out and, and contact me. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. Take pride in your real estate experience.